weight loss just for weight gain is very individualized. Everyone has different lifestyles, um, different schedules. So that's why it's very important to sit down with the dietitian. Um, it might take many, many uh, appointments just to um, start seeing the results. Nothing is overnight, um, but we do want you to uh, feel comfortable and we want you to succeed because that's what we want. We want our patients to succeed and be happy with what uh, with themselves. So typically, um, what is required to lose weight? And this is according to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So um, a diet or not um, a diet diet. So let me go back. Sorry. So what is required? So speaking to a dietitian concerning food selections. So um, whether it be us figuring out different ways to um, correct it or trying to see if we can uh, make changes, any changes for the positive. Second would be um, physical activity. So physical activity for those that are able to. Uh, there are some people that are wheelchair bound. There are others that um, have arthritis in their knees and their joints and their hips and their ankles. So um, physical physical activity is very important, not only to lose weight, but then it's also fun. And also um, it'll, it, it helps in many different areas. So weight loss, it can help with hypertension, diabetes, and so forth. So and then physical activity, I always like to suggest doing something that you like to do, not something that you're going to dread doing. So if your idea of physical activity is riding the bike down to the beach, that's an excellent example of physical activity. If you don't like going to the gym, then you don't have to go to the gym. A little weight-bearing uh, exercise is beneficial, but if the gym is not your thing, you don't have to do it. If, say, you like walking with your significant other for 45 minutes at night uh, to the park or around the park to and from, that's a perfect example of physical activity. Our job is to uh, help encourage it, find what you do like, and help you to keep uh, going forward. Third is behavioral strategies. So this one is very, very individualized because um, everyone is different. Different, like I was mentioning before, different lifestyles, different schedules, so um, different habits. That's when um, speaking with the dietitian, we can really help you either um, find barriers or help you um, through those barriers to help you um, succeed. And lastly, um, a reasonable and realistic weight loss goal. So if someone wants to lose, I'm just gonna throw a random number out, 100 pounds in two weeks, it wouldn't be advisable because it's so much weight to lose in such little time. We have to take steps. It, it has to be gradual and all. Uh, something, and it has to be realistic. So say, um, I'm just throw out another one. Five pounds in, let's say, two months. That's more of a reasonable goal, uh, not a hundred. So it has to be realistic and um, something that we can always talk about. Um, and why working with the dietitian is necessary for weight loss. So each dietitian will have his or her own tips because. Um, we all have our own different experiences. Um, that's why it, we have our own little tips. And for each patient, like I said, it's individualized. So one thing that might work for someone might not work for others. That's why it's best to keep up, um, keep your appointments with the dietitian.